What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Fall Guys video. Now in today's video we're going to be going over everything you need to know about the Ratchet Challenge because the Ratchet Challenge officially starts today or yesterday if you're watching this video when it actually released. It says the Ratchet Challenge is here. A rift has opened into the Blunder Dome bringing forth an all new Feature. Take on Ratchet's challenge to earn a number of Ratchet theme rewards, including a costume resembling the Lombak Hero. Complete the unique challenge and earn event points to collect the prizes from this week-long live event running from the 26th of July to the 1st of August. Now, in game, when you go to your lobby, you're gonna see a brand new tab in the middle of the play section, as well as the, the locker section where your outfits and your emotes and stuff. You go right here, you're gonna see your live event section with the beautiful Ratchet outfit on the left with everything you need to know about Ratchet's challenge. It says buddy up with other beans to get the galactic rewards from your favorite Lombat. And again, we have six days, eight hours as I'm making this video in order to collect everything. So I'm gonna go over the rewards and just basically talk how easy or how difficult the rewards are. Starting from the top, you gotta dive 30 times. You probably could do this in one match, literally just even if you're throwing the round away, just walk around and just dive 30 times and you should be able to achieve this. Earn at least a bronze medal in any round 10 times so basically you have to at least complete 10 rounds to in order to do this a bronx medal is earned literally for completing the round i believe there's only three medals you can earn bronx silver and gold depending on how well you do in that round completing 10 rounds should gain you this as complete dive 50 times again just like dive 30 times this one can be completed in one round if you do the dives quickly enough hopefully the round isn't over or hopefully it isn't like a quick game and again you don't have to do this all the dives in one round you could do this in multiple rounds it's going to accumulate after one round now one of the last things we have to do is win a squad duels match so i would recommend just jumping into squad duels even if you don't have a duel partner do a duel fill try to squad up with somebody who is also trying to get these challenges done because if you do that you might do the other challenges as well on your way to win the squad duel so i would recommend actually doing the squad duels the whole time you're actually trying to complete this show to knock out that one when you actually have to win a squad duels match and again reach round four in a squad duo show it says qualify from survival rounds 10 times this can be done in any kind of show now the next one is qualify for survival rounds we have two of them we have survive four rounds and then survive 10 rounds again something that you should be able to do in any type of match survival rounds are just the ones that you have to literally survive in and they could be done in duos singles quads whatever it says reach round three in a squad duo show again if you reach round four like we talked about you can reach round three earn at least a silver medal in any 10 rounds this one a little bit harder than the bronx medal but again very doable if you are just knocking out rounds completing them as quickly as possible earn at least a gold medal in five rounds again same method to the madness just try to complete the rounds as quickly as possible gold medals aren't incredibly hard to get you should be able to knock out this one very easy again it's just five rounds that you have to get gold medals in and again to me the most difficult one has to be to win the squad duels match because again that means that you have to rely on somebody that's actually pretty good at the game now again it might be easy if you do have a player that you always squad up with and you always you know win however if you are having difficulty matching up with people i would just say keep trying at least if you keep trying you will be able to get enough points to knock out a lot of these other challenges out the way and who knows if you do manage to win the squad duos, you actually knock that challenge out as well. And that challenge does give you the most points, 500. So completing all of the challenges will give you a little bit over 2,000, which means that there is one 100 points that you don't really need to get. I would recommend just completing them all again to get everything including the emo but i know most players are going to stop right after they get the top part of ratchet the 16,000. because as long as you do all of the dive medals and all of the medals that require you to get the bronx medal the silver the gold and reach different rounds and shows 
you should be able to get the top, the bottom, the pattern, the color, and the nameplate as well. And here's a full look at everything you can gain because we could preview the items. If you press the triangle button right here, you can check out the nameplate. It looks pretty cool. And the ratchet color, I don't have a pattern on, so it just shows this color right now. Here is the pattern, obviously with my color that I have on, which looks ridiculous. The bottom, of course, with the tail and all. Again, this is kind of mixing it with the samurai outfit that I have on. And of course the top, mixing it with the bottom of the samurai again. And it looks pretty clean too. I didn't notice that it had a tail. I'm glad that it sees that it still has a tail and it looks pretty cool. And here is the emo. Groovitate, Groovitron, Groovitron. That must be a Ratchet and Clank. So overall, this again is how you unlock Ratchet. I'm gonna do the same type of video once Clank event starts. I believe on the 6th or the 8th, I forget. I have to double check. But again, that video will drop once we get a word and actually check out the challenges that you have to complete in that quest line. I don't think they're gonna give us the same challenges. A lot of people were speculating maybe they would. We would just have to do it within that time. I don't think they're gonna do that. I think they're gonna have totally different challenges. I mean why would they do the same challenges when they could mix it up and have us do different things especially with this one focusing on squad duos i think they might focus on squad trios for clank but that's all theories let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of the ratchet challenge are you going to be trying your hardest to complete this to unlock all of the rewards if you need a duo and you're currently looking for one let's chat down in the comment section below i answer all comments and again i encourage you all to conversate down there if you are looking for a duo to maybe help somebody that needs so let's have that conversation down there in the comments let me know your thoughts of the ratchet skin and the ratchet challenge down there like always guys i i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this every day talking full guys mario pokemon call of duty fortnite wherever i feel like dropping the vibes on i drop it here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend this so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or TikTok or whatever. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.